Good morning, Joe. We've got that sun coming up and shining with just a couple of clouds in Springfield. It's 23 degrees out there right now, so we are a little bit colder on south and west winds at 8 miles per hour. Temperatures are about 10 to 15 degrees colder now than it was this time yesterday. It's 23 degrees in Springfield, 25 in Branson, and 20 uh, degrees in Mountain Grove. So as we head towards uh, dismissal today, we'll find an increase in clouds. Temperatures will be warmer than yesterday. Yesterday we got stuck in the 30s. Today we're going for a high of 48 degrees, which is closer to average um, despite the increase in clouds. So we'll find more clouds here on future cast. Some spotty rain showers will be possible late this evening and overnight, and they're going to be really quick, so they're out of here by tomorrow morning. Temperatures then drop to 30 degrees. Uh, we'll find a couple more clouds tomorrow afternoon with some spotty rain showers possible then for the east. Uh, temperatures seasonal in the lower 50s. So Tonight and tomorrow, we've got these really spotty light rain chances. Then we'll really find more sunshine and a bigger warm up on Saturday, mostly sunny skies and temperatures in the middle 60s. We keep that warm up through Sunday and Monday. Temperatures 10 degrees above average there. We have a little bit of cooler conditions by Tuesday and Wednesday. That's because we'll have some widespread rain. So we'll set up a front that brings us some showers and thunder on Monday with rain likely Tuesday and Wednesday, and it could set up the threat for some heavy rain. So we'll need to keep an eye out for some flooding concerns pretty similar to last week if we get these rain totals of about one to three inches there. Joe. Parking price increases and a lack of stadium renovations are what the Springfield Cardinals are citing in its lawsuit against the JQH Trust Fund and JD Holdings. When Hammonds Field opened 15 years ago it was regarded as one of the best minor league parks in the country. We spoke to St. Louis Cardinals Senior VP and General Counsel Mike Whittle. He says the Cardinals requested improvements for the venue the past two seasons, but they did not get finished. Parking prices have also increased from $7 to almost 20 Whittle says these issues led to both low attendances the past few years and the stadium no longer in the top 25% of Texas League parks. We spoke to Cardinal fans and... Not many commented on those field issues, but almost everyone, of course, noticed significant increases in parking prices. The Cardinals do have the legal option to end its lease on Hammonds Field, but that's not what the team wants to do. Once we saw parking prices getting out of control, we exercised our rights to buy those spaces at a reasonable price so that we can pass along a reasonable price, <laughs> that, you know, a tour van. Yeah. We're hopeful that it'll you know, that there will be a swift resolution to these issues. Our calls to JQH Trust and JD Holdings were not returned yesterday. Moving on now to some education coverage for you. Some SPS students will have access and more access rather to services provided by the Boys and Girls Clubs as part of a new partnership with the district. This morning, Nigel McDonald joins us to share how that partnership hopes to make life easier for the families. Well, good morning, Joe. The new collaboration will provide a safe space for students at Williams Elementary to spend time before and after school. The Boys and Girls Clubs of Springfield CEO Brandy Harris tells me this new addition means a lot to the families who call that neighborhood home. Harris says a few Williams students are currently bused to their nearest location two and a half miles away, but says transportation is a barrier for some families. She says the nonprofit exists to remove these barriers and work to make life easier for those who need it most. Harris says the new center will provide a safe space right in their community. A community Harris tells me she knows well as she is also a product of that neighborhood. She says the organization hopes to serve close to 200 students once the center is open. And these are people who are working very hard to provide for their families and we just have this model and we exist to make things a little bit easier for people and that's incredibly rewarding and also I think it's our job to hear that information and if it becomes a theme over time like how can we adapt and be better. Well, the Boys and Girls Clubs is now seeking community help as it must raise one million dollars to make the new center a reality come August of 2021. All right, we'll look to see how they do with the raising of that money. Thank you, Nyjah. To some more local news for you, Missouri's Job Center in Branson is hosting a hiring event today. More than 30 employers from the area will take part in a multi-industry hiring event and veteran resource fair. It'll start up at noon and go until 4 p.m. The event will be held at the Branson United Methodist Church. Attendees should, of course, dress appropriately and don't forget to bring copies of your resume. 
There could be a change to the way absentee voting happens in Missouri. State Representative Peggy McCaw has come up with the bill that would eliminate the requirement to have an excuse to vote absentee. She believes the long lines you see on election day at some polling places could be shortened if the state eliminated the need to have an excuse to vote absentee. St. Louis County elections official Eric Fay supports this proposal. If we could allow with no excuse absentee voting more people, 20, 30, 40, 50 percent of the voters to vote prior to election day, that makes election day much less of an event. All of our bordering states around Missouri allow some form of this and um, it makes election day run much more smoothly. As it stands now, Missouri voters can vote absentee, but they must meet certain qualifications. Nine people in Arkansas died last week from the flu. A report from the Arkansas Department of Health shows the death count in Arkansas for flu-related deaths is still increasing. Since September of 2019, 65 people have died. One child has as well. The illness is also affecting schools. At least 41 school districts have closed at some point in time due to the flu. Vaping will be the focus of a town hall meeting with students and health leaders in Kansas City today. We're going to stream this for you on OzarksFirst.com if you'd like to watch along. But there will be a panel, panel of doctors and researchers from the University of Kansas Cancer Center that will be there. It's hosted by our sister station, WDAF, and will highlight discussions on vaping's impact on our health and our schools. That stream is available starting at 9 a.m. on our website. Let's take a look now at what's coming up for you after daybreak. I'm Tony DeCopel. Coming up, our series Pushing the Limits. Meet a 22 year old who's opening rock climbing to people who can't see. That's coming up on CBS This Morning. All right, we take a look at what's trending right now this morning. We've got some things happening. Of course, big news over in Milwaukee the Molson Coors uh, plant there. There was a shooting that happened there yesterday. Five victims, the gunman also dead, and the town there just grieving after what has gone on. Um, we're talking about the gunman who is dead. They're still looking and going to launch an investigation today as to why he was a current employee at the brewery there and was 51 years old and again f shot five people there. And they still don't know, have a, a motive, correct? Right. Some families also still being notified, so not all, not, no names have been released that we know of to our knowledge either at the moment. So something that we really need to watch out for when it comes to that. So talking about that and then also we're talking about what uh, is on tap for you this weekend. Big weekend for you and the weather fam, right? Yeah, we are doing the Severe Weather Expo this weekend. We've got that every year. Um, it's at the Battlefield Mall on Saturday and the purpose is to um, get you ready for the severe weather season, right? It's been a yeah. while since we've talked about tornadoes and hail and things like that. So kind of helping you rip the band-aid off and remember what those safety tips are mm -hmm. and if you have any questions or concerns, you know, of course we're there for you. The weather service will be there and so will emergency management um, but we decided to have some fun and look at what they did guys I think I've made it in life <laughs> it has explain this. what this is here now so yeah, they just took our um, promotional pictures that we use and made coloring because I have some worksheets for kids that are um, like word searches and some coloring pages and they were like well why don't we make the team into coloring pages too what else you got there uh, so, so you're that coloring was me. book characters right I said to Jamie I said Jamie you look awesome and he said yes it just clears up all of the imperfections wow. <laughs> to have him be a cartoon and here's Beth isn't that cool <laughs> So you guys will all be out there, Battlefield Mall. What time again does this start? It's from 11 to 2 on Saturday. So, yeah, we'll be there if you have any questions about severe weather or you want to teach your little kiddos about safety and things like that. We'll mm -hmm. have some activities and, and be able to help you out. And you can color. It's <laughs> always good to so do. Cool. All right, so come see them on Saturday. It'll be nice out there, too, but uh, today it's going to be cold. That is what we're dealing with, huh? Uh, yeah, we're starting out cold this morning with that temperature uh, still in the 20s. 48 by dismissal will be better than yesterday with mostly cloudy skies. Some spotty rain shower is possible tonight. And again, tomorrow, temperature is closer to average. Warm and beautiful on Saturday, 64 degrees. Increasing clouds on Sunday. And then we set up a wet start to the week next week with uh, maybe some flooding concerns. So stay up to date on that. Yeah, that looks like a lot of rain there. But hey, that's 64 on Saturday. Uh, yes. It's going to be very nice. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. We'll see you back here with a news update soon.